Hello everybody, I'm Gerard Vidal and this is Artist Life. Ten days after the fire of the Cathedral of Notre Dame, today we are going to analyze the first ideas and projects that appears on this international tender of reconstruction. We start our list with a project of another church who inevitably will influence this building. On 1991, the Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava won the project to finish the St. John's the Divine Cathedral on New York. Finally, the plan was abandoned at cause of the high cost. We can see a biosphere garden planted on the top of the nave and protected by a giant glass greenhouse created with the Calatrava arches. But what is more interesting is the spire. Obviously, the giant preference for Calatrava at the moment to create this project for New York was the spire of Violet Le Duc, who was destroyed the last week. On 2016, the French government and the City Hall of Paris approved a plan to reorganize all the Ile de la Cité, the central island of the city. The most interesting things that we can see is the creation of two new bridges. On plus, we can see the interest to create a new green spaces. On the frontal square of Notre Dame, we find a transparent floor who shows the archaeological creep of the city and who offer access to the new fluvial port. The objective of this new spatial organization are the reduction of the car's influx and the optimization of the island. Of course, this project thinks how to optimize the financial revenues where Notre Dame is the center. A few hours after the fire, the first idea appears on the internet. A tribute to the Parisian architect Alexandre Chassan, this image proposed a really shocking reconstruction. They proposed to reconstruct the rooftop like it was, but predominated by a different color glasses spire. The spire presents two asymmetrical sides, one with only one line and the other with multiple volumes. Both are in different colors, predominating the blues, the whites and the greys. On this first idea, we can see the 16 sculptures of the Apostles and Evangelists placed it on the same place designed by Violet Le Duc. All these copper sculptures was miraculous saving because they was pulled out of the structure just few days before of the fire to be cleaned for the first time ever. The next day after the fire, the Italian architect Fuxas proposed a rooftop all made with Baccarat crystal. This project used the aesthetic of the spire of Violet Le Duc, but all created with this historical French glass. This company is known for the objects that normally arrive to the royal family. A similar structure was presented by the Italian architect Stefano Licciotti. On this case, this appears the triangular form of the rooftop to be changed for a rectangular rooftop. The central spire have a little futuristic aesthetic, following the profile of the Violet Le Duc. On Thursday, the day after of the official proposal of the French state, it was a moving day, where we saw a different proposals. The first one, made by the French engineer Robert Cosette, proposed a green rooftop, who allows the access to the visitors. The biggest innovation of this project is the disappearance of the spire, going back to the appearance that the cathedral had before the restoration of the 19th century. The big majorities of the journals show an image where we can see the church without a roof. Instead of this, there are a plain wood terrace with a small garden on the center. This new structure allows the access to the visitors. The only constructions that we can see are a few glass structures who hold up the coronations of the transept facades. On the center of this terrace, a small spire on white is suggested. I'm sure that one of the most surprising proposals that we will see on this international contest is the one designed by the user Biker CZ. He proposed an absolutely change of use, designing a skate park on the rooftop of Notre Dame, thinking to accommodate the Olympic events of a skateboard that for the first time will participate in the Olympic Games of 2024. 
this same day, we find for the first time the day of the memorial. The French user V. Brambaut proposed a perfect reconstruction of the neo-gothic spire of Violet Le Duc. The only difference is that on the top of this structure he proposed a giant ray with the vegetal decorations where it burns an eternal flame. On the same line, we can find one image where all the spire is supplanted by a like structure, crowned with a potent laser who shows a light to the sky. On this image, we can see how all the rooftop is exactly the same like it was before. Even the Cooper sculptures were on the same place. The young architects Godard and Roussel, based on Dijon, were the first one on France who really opened the social discussion on the internet and on the internet about the future of Notre Dame. It must be reconstructed like it was, or the architects can take a poetic licenses. The outside of the building is all made by glass, and we can discern a metallic structure separated on different levels and inspired on the Gothic arches and proportions. The spire is just a geometrical ball, made with a golden material, giving it a shining appearance. Inside, we can find this covered terrace, where we can see the beautiful landscape of the city of Paris. They propose a suspended passage accessible to the visitors, and for the first time, they propose to use the hall created by the collapsing of the old spire to offer natural light inside of the temple. On the top of this circular hall, and just under the spire, they design a giant cross. This same day, on a British journal, appears an interview to the architect Norman Foster. He says that this is a great opportunity for the modern architecture and the new generations of designers. And he affirmed that probably this project will have a crystal and a stainless steel rooftop. The journal illustrates this interview with an image where we can see all these ideas on paper. The Russian architect Alexander Nerovnia proposed a different idea. We can see on this project how he's thinking on an entire reconstruction of Violet Le Duc's spire, like it was before the fire. He proposed a choking rooftop created with blue crystals. His project is playing with different volumes and layers to create a diversification of the colors. The Parisian architect of the Studio Nap presented an interesting project with a green rooftop. The exterior is preserving the old skyline of the building, but the interesting things are inside of this glass structure. Following the philosophy of this company, to improve the wall that surrender us, they propose an educational garden on the top of the cathedral. On the middle of these gardens, they present the 16 sculptures on copper. On the spire, they propose to create a giant apiary. We can see inside of the transparent structure 48 modern apiaries. Some artists and designers start to propose his own projects. Is the case of the French Mathieu Le Harner, one of the most famous influencers on this moment. When we look at his artworks, we can see his interest to recreate the ephemeral movement of the water and the fire in hard materials. On this line, he proposed to reconstruct the spire of Notre Dame just like it was during the fire. We can see a bronze structure shining on the top of the building. The Cyprus studio KTI, Kiss the Architect, did the same. They are followers of the tendency of a crazy architecture, with the objective to disfigure the landscape. Here, they renew their project Foolish Folly, never realize it, to put it on the top of the cathedral. We can see a metallic structure with eclectic arches and balls wrapped around a central staircase. Notice that the 16 sculptures of copper are on their original place. David Dero is a French artist based on London who likes to work on different textures and shapes. The objective of his proposal is to find an equilibrium between the old tradition and the new architecture. He proposed a modernized white rooftop where the forms are more circular and disappear the Violet Le Duc's sculptures. 
is presided by a white crystal reconstruction who remembers a lot of the original Spire. The American artist and designer John Brewer is known by his designs inspired by natural geometries. It's so interesting his jewelry collection. He takes all the lines to propose an interesting spire placed on the top of the old rooftop. It's much massive than the Viola Leduc design, and here there are no places to take the sculptures of the apostles and evangelists. Made with an octagonal base, we can see a different levels created with glass triangles on different colors. The architecture of Basilicum is always interested in the reflection of the light. It's a combination of the old sculpture and a new architecture. This Russian architect imagined a cathedral all covered with reflecting flags. We can see the combination of these blue mirrors contrasting with the white of the Parisian stone. The most interesting contribution is the construction of two new spires that culminate the two frontal towers, following the aesthetic of the last Gothic style. The Brazilian studio of AJ6 Studio presents a project that they define as a religious object. They propose a restoration following the forms of the old rooftop, but only using a stained glass. This technique was used during all the medieval times, and her theological conception was one of the best innovations who characterized the Gothic style. On the day, this light is projected inside of the building, and on the night, they propose a system of LED who illuminate all the city. On a similar line, the American artist Elaine Springer proposed to create a rooftop with the stained glasses. On this case, she proposed to create a giant image with a peace angel on blue and transparent stained glass, following the style of Picasso. This artwork could be illuminated on the night. Notice that on this project, the spire disappears. From Bratislava arrived the proposal of the architect Bizu Atelier. They propose rebuild the rooftop like it was, but with a modern and white spire in the middle. This structure is absolutely futurist, made with curved forms. But the most spectacular element appears in the night. They propose a white light ray who wants to arrive to the sky, following the tradition of the old constructors. For these architects, this light is a way to connect the heaven with the earth. Weibo Concept, based on Nice, is an architect cabinet specialized to mix the design and architecture. They propose a crystal rooftop, but on this project stand out all the metallic structure, creating irregular polygons of iron. On the night, all this structure could be illuminated using different colors. The spire don't recover all the sculptures of copper, but it creates inferior volumes that can remind us the project presented by Santiago Calatrava of New York. The architects of Seven Thailand they propose an ecologist project who take care and protect the seas of Thailand. They propose a blue plastic rooftop that takes all the aesthetics of the old rooftop. It's interesting to notice the volunteer of this project to promote and collaborate with companies who recover the plastic of the sea. The young student of architecture, Baez Arc, proposed a spire with 10 different stainless steel beams painted in three different tonalities of grey. He's so interested to adapt these colors with the houseman style tonalities of the city. He thinks that all the rest of the rooftop must be like it was before, to preserve all these 800 years of tradition. And you? What do you think? We need to recreate the cathedral like it was? Or do you prefer to create something absolutely new? Please, explain your opinion on the commentaries below. Thank you very much to see this video. On this channel, you will find everything about art and Paris, my two passions. You can subscribe or if you prefer, you can do a like. Have a nice day!